I've got a quick Erin Condren haul for you, including the new 7x9 focused teacher lesson planner, the reading log, and some new markers and highlighters. Hi, I'm Kristen. I'm on a journey to uncomplicate my life with functional planning and imperfect home management. If you're like me and you need a gentle reminder to just keep it simple, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. This was my Erin Condren teacher lesson planner haul from that launch. And I did get a teacher lesson planner, but I also threw in some other things that came that have been around that I haven't purchased before. So this is the uh, book lovers reading log and journal. And I have this harmony colorful writing tools variety pack. I have all of the other variety packs and I didn't have this set. So I wanted to pick up this just so I could have all of the colors. I am loving these highlighters. I, if I could just get the highlighters individually, I definitely would. I use those way more than I use the dual tip markers, but it's always nice to have extra markers. So, but the highlighters are my favorite and we have the dual tip, dual ink highlighters here. And this is in a rainbow colorway with black ink on this side. So that's nice too. And we'll do a pen test. That's why I have this notebook here. And we have the teacher lesson planner and it did come with this free gift with purchase, which is an apple, post-it note set and it does have the cute little asterisks on it. I have not opened this because I have enough sticky notes as it is and um, in case I wanted to use this um, as like a little add-in to a teacher gift or something I thought I would just leave that in the plastic but I just wanted to show you that that did come with it. So this is the vegan leather cover of the Focus Teacher Lesson Planner. If you want the seven by nine size, you get the Focused line. And so that comes with a vegan leather cover. I chose um, Harbor, which is like a grayish taupe kind of color here. And there is, it's just like a papery finish on the inside. There's no vellum or anything like that. The Focused line is a very, very, um, neutral planner. So this is going to be different than your canvas style planners, which I do have a canvas style planner here to show you just so you can come kind of compare. So I'll show you that as we flip through, but you've got your name page here and then it goes right into like very teacher related things. And this says all about me and it's got your information, your classroom and stuff like that and some spaces for your classroom resources and professional development. More spots here to keep track of classroom volunteers, like your room parent, stuff like that, and different events. Then you've got your communication log and your year at a glance spread. So here is like your 12 boxes. I know a lot of people lament that it doesn't start at the beginning of the school year and then go to the end of the school year. It starts on the calendar year. I don't know why they do that. I think they have said it's because all over the world schools start at different times of year and so it's easy to just streamline it here. But um, for me personally, it doesn't matter. For me, the way I'm gonna use the planner, um, I can easily wipe these out or just ignore that it's not in the same order as the planner. It doesn't bother me. Then you have some graph pages that um, I think are intended for like seating charts and other types of things. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use these yet. I'll speak to how I plan to use this and the reason why I purchased it towards the end, but I just wanna do a flip through real quick. So you have two spreads of that. You've got your holidays for 2023 and 2024 and there's the rest of 2024 and then you have a notes page and then this is like where your july starts so even though the tab is over here you've kind of got like you've kind of got like a notes dashboard situation here so you've got your line notes page that says july 2023 more lines and then some check boxes and it says dates to remember in july and then you flip into your month and it is a Sunday start. It is a very similar layout to what we're used to seeing in an Erin Condren planner, except it does have the mini calendars for the previous month and then the month going forward, but you still have your sidebar over here. And so these are both very neutral. So this is the focus teacher lesson planner and then this is the canvas life planner. So that's kind of like the difference there. They're both very neutral, but this one is just lines and text. This one does have a little bit of flair with your asterisks. Now you turn the page and you go straight into your weekly plan. This is the teacher lesson planner layout. So it's a horizontal layout. 
and it goes Monday through Friday. There is no weekend in here because there is no school on the weekends. So um, you have six columns. So for it's intended for like six periods or six classes, right? And then you have like your Monday and then each thing that's gonna happen in each of those classes. And then you have a sidebar over here. A lot of people redate this where they ignore these dates and they put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And so that is one way that people that um, want a weekend are using this planner and then they're using it vertically instead of horizontally. So you have your choices there. And then at the end of the month, you have your four line notes pages and then it goes into the dashboard setup for the following month. And this one, at the end of your months, you do get some checklist pages and that's what that looks like. I'm not doing like a full review because there have been so many reviews already, the, t the teachers that have reviewed this planner. I just wanted to just show you real quick what is in this book. And then I have just a white double-sided pocket folder and then the back cover. So I purchased this to use as a social media planner. Um, I've tried this layout for social media before, um, before they had the focused seven by nine size. I bought that big eight and a half by 11, like teacher planner size, right? It was way too big for me and I never ended up using it. And so now that this has come out in the seven by nine size, I am excited to try this out. I have been trying to use a plain monthly planner as my content and social media planner, but I do want some more structure. I am finding that I need more than just the layouts that I'm drawing out on those pages. And so I'm excited to try this now to keep track of certain things. And I'm still not sure if I'm going to redate it across the top and put the dates up here and use it vertically, or if I'm gonna keep it horizontally and just keep Monday through Friday. With my content and my social media, I intend to not do anything like work related on the weekends. So I kind of like the idea of just keeping it the way it is, but there are some things that are gonna be posting on the weekends. And so I'm not really sure, but this is definitely gonna be divided up by YouTube, Instagram, Facebook group, my blog and newsletter and like other, like when I'm working with a brand, for instance, if I have a review for Erin Condren or something like that, then I would have a column for that or, you know. So that is how I plan to use it. I am thinking I will do up here, um, this will change to be um, about my channel specifically and not classroom related things. This one, I'm not sure how I would use this yet. And then here I might just put some goals or some forward planning for the year of what types of things I want to be talking about and posting on my various channels. And then this one, I don't know how I'm gonna use that yet either. Maybe like a vision board or something like that per quarter because we do have four sheets of graph paper. Maybe that's something like that. Some kind of brainstorm for quarterly planning. Um, and then the dashboard pages will just be for various checklists and types of things that are happening um, in my social media planning. And then the monthly spread is going to be for specific date related things, not necessarily when my videos are posting and stuff like that, because that is going to be here. But if there's a specific date that I need to keep in mind, or, you know, I am a Planner Kate affiliate. And so there are certain days that Planner Kate releases like new releases or Warehouse Wednesday and stuff like that, that might go on here. So that's kind of how I'm planning to use that. You will not see a whole ton of this on my channel just because I do need to keep some things private when I'm working with brands. But, um, if I can, I might flip through once I set it up. I might do like a flip through and show you how I used it that way. So anyhow, if you are using a teacher lesson planner and you're not a teacher or, or you're just using it for something that's not teaching or homeschool related, I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Just, I, I'm always just curious to see what people are using things for. So let's move on to the reading log. 
I've seen this a few times and I've always been tempted to buy it and then I always talk myself out of it. Even when I visited the Erin Condren store in Austin, I had this in my hand and I was so ready to buy it and then I just talked myself out of it for some reason. Um, but I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and try it because we have our book club and I thought this would be a perfect way to just kind of document what I'm reading for book club and then have a place for the notes. Um, there's just some instructions here on how to use it and you've got some tracking. This is your daily reading tracker and it's got space for like two years worth of reading. Um, there's 24 monthly calendars there essentially. And then you go right into your book notes. So this is where you have a spot for your title author, the date started and finished, and what format you read the book in, whether it was a book, an ebook, or an audiobook, how long was the book, the genre, who recommended it to you. There's a spot for your ratings, and did you read it for fun or book club or some other things. And then there's plenty of space to fill out all your thoughts on the book what you thought of this book, what your favorite part was, more thoughts, quotes, or memorable moments, and then takeaways from this book. So that's like for one book, and then you have a ton of these. Um, I actually don't have the information in front of me on how many there are, but you can see it's a ton. I'll put it up on the screen. Um, I'll go, I will go look at their website and see if I can find it, and if I can, I'll put it up on the screen. So tons and tons, you're not gonna run out anytime soon. And then on your next tab here, you have book club meeting notes. And there are, I did count these, and there are enough for one book club meeting per month for the year. So there are 12 spreads here. You've got the title, author, who suggested it, the meeting date, the meeting location, who was there, what, it says book club spread, so I'm assuming that means like what kind of snacks or whatever that you had during book club. And then this is what you want to discuss at book club. This is what everyone ended up discussing together. And then this was like memorable moments for book club. And then your rating, and then what the club rated it. Next meeting's title, author, and date. And then you have enough of those to get you through the year. And it does change color, so it doesn't get boring. And then the last tab section here, you have my favorite books. And it's the title and author. And so you have two, three, three two-page spreads of that. So six, six pages of favorite books. And then you're gonna have six more pages of to be read. And that says book title, author, and then a spot to check off if you read it. I would actually probably put the date there that I read it, or you could just do a check mark. And then you're at the end. One thing I do want to note on this is that it comes with this gold coil standard. So you don't upgrade to this gold coil, it just comes that way. And it matches this beautiful gold color blends, mid-century circles cover, which I just love. All right, now let's get into the new pens and let's just go right into swatching them. This is the dual ink, dual tip highlighter pens, 12 pack. And I'm just gonna pull them out and I'm gonna swatch them. And I will probably speed through that just because it is gonna take quite a bit for all of these. Well, I totally messed that one up and forgot to skip a line, but here are your colors. I do really like these. I like that they have black on one side. Um, let's actually do like a smear test and let's use like a lighter, couple of lighter colors and we'll just write the color name. Speaking of the color name, 
these colors, these markers actually have the color name printed on them for once. It's amazing. So we've got peach, it does smear. Um, and then this one is marigold. And I did let that dry for just a second whenever I was talking about the color name on the pen, but um, it smears, but not too bad. And it doesn't even like stick to the tip. So here, I'll bring it up here and show you. So it smears, but it's not that bad. Like it's not terrible. So if you're highlighting over top of it, it's not too bad, but just, just keep that in mind. So we have those and then let's turn the page and then um, you can see here what you think about being able to see through the page. Not too bad. All right, so now I wanna try the new writing tools variety pack. And actually, let me just kind of get this basket over here so I have somewhere to put this. Okay. This is the new writing tools variety pack. So I'm gonna pull these out all the way. And here we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some highlighter down. These are the Harmony Colorful. So that is Orchid. And then we'll just go like this, fine point. And then I'll write it, how about that? Orchid. So I think a lot of these are kind of like repeat colors, but Robin and Lagoon um, are some colors that I didn't have already. That is the Writing Tools Variety Set in Harmony Colorful. So now I have all four of the available Writing Tools Variety Packs. So like if you want me to compare any of the colors to decide if you need to purchase like a certain set or not, let me know and I can do that for you. So that is it for this video. I'm gonna link everything in the description box and um, just as a reminder, I am a Erin Condren affiliate. So if you purchase through my links, uh, I do get a commission for that. And thank you so much for helping me support my family in that way. And thank you so much for being here. If you're still with me, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you really like the video, please consider subscribing because I have new videos like this three times a week and I would love to see you in the next one. So until then, embrace your imperfections and just be you. Bye.